Family, what's good? It's your boy. And welcome back to uh, Suits and Sense. Okay, family, today, real quick, we're going to jump on here and uh, we're going to rap about uh, Clive Christian's new fragrance, uh, Cashmere Musk. Cashmere Musk. New release, came out 2024, um, and Neiman's is going to run you like 415. Say this in all my videos. I base all my prices off of Neiman Marcus. That's going to be at the high point, okay? Anything that you, if you find anywhere else, consider that a steal uh, as far as discount websites are concerned. But this, I don't think that's on there yet. All right, I got um, two samples of these, right? Now, I wore this today and cashmere must. Okay. Um, uh, I would I would say that it's not in the lines of Musk Therapy. I wouldn't say that it's in the lines of Bond and Manon's Musk fragrance, um, but it 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 gives you the well to my nose when I wore it, it started off as a fresh scent, a really really fresh scent. But the dry down was the most appealing part to me then. Uh, the opening, okay? The dry down is most appealing parts of me than the opening. All right, so let's, um, let's, 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 let's okay. open up with bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, Szechuan pepper, and blood orange. I got all of that. I got all of that in the opening. I did, like I said, it was a, 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 a spicy citrus fragrance in the opening. It was not too spicy, not too citrus, blended well, just right, but it was a spicy uh, citrus fragrance in the opening. And that stuck with me for some time. It did have stuck with me for some time. And then as uh, the, as the uh, as that scent faded, and it didn't to me, it didn't fade right away. I was getting that for a good little while. It didn't fade right away. But that's when the uh, the cash the cashmerean the uh, some floral notes, some some green notes, and the Egyptian uh, jasmine. The green notes, I would say I got that more in the opening uh, with the freshness. I got that more in the opening. The cashmere, that was more in the opening. I, there really wasn't a middle to me. Th this is to me, there really wasn't a middle. All those notes with the opening notes, they were all together. I was getting peekaboos of all of that in the opening to, to my nose. Okay. But on the dry down, when the uh, musk and the guyac wood came in, and that, to me, that came in heavy on the dry down. It came in heavy, but the opening still stayed there. So they kind of like blended and settled down and sat and stayed. That's what it did. That's what it did. So um, the longevity, I did this like around, hmm, it was probably around 7 a.m. And it's like late, uh, early evening now. And it the, the, the longevity was really great. I did well, like I say, I'm an overspray. I'm over, I overspray, so they stay with me. But I did refresh. I did refresh, probably like around noon. But when I did refresh, it was still. I wouldn't say it was just a skin scent, because it, it still it was it still had a little life to it. But I did refresh. So that's seven. That's what that was for like five hours. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so about I say longevity for me, I would I would give it seven. I would give it a good seven hours for longevity. Now, I'm an overspreader, mind you. I'm an overspreader, so I would give it a good seven hours. And I did refresh because I wanted the opening to come back. That's the main reason why I refreshed because I wanted the opening uh, to come back. And because I was really digging it, you know, that 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 vibe, you know, was kind of uh, cool with me. Then uh, when the, I wanted to experience the whole effect all over again with the opening and the dry down mixing in together. And yeah, it was really a settle down to a nice, smooth, mellow scent. Uh, I think you can wear it at uh, any season. I really do. I think it'll really, really project in the warm weather with some heat on it. Um, scent trail was nice. Uh, the uh, sillage was nice. Longevity was nice. That's about seven hours. So overall, I think it's a, a really good uh, fragrance from the private collection. 
for uh, Clive Christian. Came out 2024, their latest release. Uh, Neiman's want like 415, and I think Saks want the same. All the high end department stores want like the low fours. Uh, discount websites, I'm not sure if it's on there. It hasn't hit that, that uh, side yet. But uh, Cashmere uh, Musk from Clive Christian. It, rating one through 10, I would give it probably a seven. I would give it probably a seven. And that's just because, um, I don't know, it, 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 it's not a wild fragrance, but it's a good fragrance. That's the only reason why. To me, to you, it could be different. You know, I think the women would like this, you know, can rock this. I think the women can rock this and it'd be a wild factor for them because it, 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 it teeters the line between masculine and feminine and feminine. It, it teeters the line a little bit. It's a good gender neutral fragrance. So when man can rock it, woman can rock it and, you know, be quite pleasant with it and you can get away with it. So I give it a seven. And that's uh, simply because it's not a blow your mind type fragrance. Um, but it's a good fragrance, not a blow your mind type fragrance. So I give it a seven. And then for 415, hmm, I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm a rock the uh, samples I got. I'm gonna wait till like a really, really hot, hot day and, and go nuclear with it and see the projection. And if it, if the fragrance go out and seek people and the reaction I get and everything, cause today it was kind of cool and it was real windy. So we didn't really uh, 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 hit nostrils like I thought it would because everybody, you know, was boom, boom, boom cause it was windy and cold outside, but some high heat, I'm gonna try it again. And we're gonna go from there. But 415 is a price, 2024 release. Uh, out of a scale of one to 10, I give it a seven. Um, this is because it's, it's not a wild factor to me. It's a good fragrance, but just not a wild fragrance. All right, it's just not a wild fragrance to me compared to some of the other Clive Christian fragrances that I have. This one just isn't a wild fragrance for me. Good fragrance, but not a wild fragrance, okay? All right, um, so let's do let's do the note breakdown one more time. In the opening, you got bergamot, ginger, and pink pepper. The ginger in here is what really catches you. I, I will say that that ginger is nice and get a little spice with the pink pepper yeah, and then the, the citrus coming in. That's a, I, that's why I say I re refresh because I wanted that opening again. The opening was really good. The opening was really good. Uh, uh, pink pepper, Szechuan pepper, and blood orange. And in the middle, you got cashmere, you got some floral notes, some green leaves, and Egyptian jasmine. Now, when I, like I said, when I first sprayed it, I was getting all of that in the opening. I was getting all the, 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 uh, the uh, ginger and the pink pepper and the session pepper. I was getting more, but I was still getting more of uh, the cashmere and the floral and the green. And all of that basically in the opening because as soon as the uh, opening came, the, the middle came, it was like right on his coattail right then. It's like they all blended together because the opening never faded away. To me, it never faded away. It stayed there. And then you got some uh, the musk and the gayak will come in there and blend in and mellow everything out, tone everything down. And then you have uh, 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 cashmere uh, musk. Good fragrance, not a wild fragrance. All right, scale one to ten, I give it a seven. Okay, all right, family. That's uh, my talk about uh, Clive Christian's new release, Cashmere Wood. Get a sample of it, wear it for a day. Tell me what you think. Okay. All right, first time viewers, thank you for tuning to the channel Suits and Scents. Um, before you make any decisions, go back, check out some other videos from Suits and Scents, and go from there. All right, continue viewers, much love. Can't stop, won't stop, not going to stop. It's not happening. All right, to the next video, fam. Deuces.